Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend and a full moon reading for Capricorn friends. This is applicable for singles, couples in a relationship, dating, or getting to know. This is for my Capricorn friends. I just saw your card. This is for you guys. I hope you're well. So this is a combination of full moon. It's happening September 14th and a weekend bonus, which is September 13, 14, and 15. So this is really a back-to-back bonus reading for my Capricorn friends. Before I start Capricorn, I really want to thank you for your awesome support, for your likes, for your subscribe, and if you are a guest viewers, I would appreciate guys if you would if I would get a like and I would be happy if you join my team. Click subscribe, click the notification bell and join my team. And for my subscribers, thank you awesome sunshine squad. Thank you. And um, thank you for, for the den generous donation, all right? It really keeps the channel going. Thank you so much. So let's start your reading, Capricorn. Full moon, September 14. Um, this is about culmination. This is about completion. So the universe is going to work to zap all of those done, dusted things in our life. Friendship, family issues, um, career romantic so the universe will zap that energy it's complete done dusted out and let's bring a new cycle okay so for you the message i'm getting for you come um sorry cancer <laughs> you might be dealing with a cancer but capricorn you've got ace of wands in reverse you might be this you might be feeling disappointed all right let's get a card mm. you might be feeling disappointed because you were expecting someone, something to give you um, a solid connection, all right? Feeling disappointed, feeling stressful, feeling feeling out of sync on, on this person, on this situation. Like, it's almost there, but um, at the very last minute, something went wrong for some of you. Um, you were really ex expecting something solid to happen something really tangible something really mm, something that you could hold on for a long time that's what you're wanting all right long time commitment solid truthfulness honesty all right for some of you i'm getting capricorn you fought you really fought you really you know have your heart um with this person or situation because i'm really looking at the ace of swords you know, if you look at the Ace of Swords, the hand that hold the sword, it's really tight grip, you know, to the point that they look hurt on, you know, holding something very tight. And that's probably the reason why this situation, this person, um, it, it, it needed to go. Um, it was not successful. It's not ready because you're holding something in your hand so tight that it couldn't breathe, okay, for some of you. It needs to breathe. So you need to loosen up in order for things to really come in naturally. Because I'm really feeling like this Ace of Swords, you know, you're holding it already. Don't don't hold it too tight because you might hurt yourself. You know, you can hold the sword a bit loose. You know, be confident. You know, I'm really getting in here. The way you hold this person or this situation is so tight that they cannot breathe. You you you, you need to let let it loose, otherwise you would you know your grip can hurt can hurt you if you hold something so tight you know it would hurt you as well so this is what i'm getting with your situation that um you thought it what you th you ex you expect that by holding onto it by working hard putting your heart on it you know your, your, your all your effort and time you thought that this is the best you know this is the best strategy to keep things going to keep it flowing to keep it staying but it seems to be that you know your person your situation you know it's it's i'm really getting like i can't breathe it, it's too tight it's too narrow I, I need some space all right so yeah for some of you they were in they were disinterested um they were they have to go it's just they're needing a space in fact for some of you it, it had it had this you know it had this uh five of wands which is um it's a battle it's it's um a discussion it's an argument it's a competition for some of you i'm really getting attacked you know you're being questioned you're being gossip um you're being 
there are some people's around people friends and family that probably around you telling you to let go you know telling you advice but you're not listening to them for some of you it's external people that's trying to trying to really you and like trying to to um to ruin the relationship connection of you and your person okay for some of you i don't think they would be successful um i meant like the ace of cups in reverse um they it's really more of if you guys separated you didn't separate because of the influence of other people but it's 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 both your decision all right um i'm seeing in here for some of you sun card decision making full moon for you capricorn it's it's a bit difficult the way i see this reading because you will need to battle you know there's a battle there's still um stuff that needs to be understand understood you need you still need to clear some stuff with your person especially if it's involving kids or other people okay it will progress um you will get a yes for some of you you will get a no um but it's okay because it will allow you to clear the emotions it will allow you it's it's really more of this ace of cups is telling you this is the ace of cups this is your ace of cups in the past inside the ace of cups you know, there it's already um let's say it's not the, the water inside the ace of cups in your past it's not healthy so the universe is calling you to um, remove the existing water in your ace of cups so that you could fill it in with something fresh okay because what you are inputting in your ace of cups is that five of wands argument people trying to destroy you and this person pain kids that's not happy with you and your person arguing decision making strong decision making that is you know coming along with a bit of selfishness like all about me all about you nah it's not gonna work if it's just about you if it you know it's not having um a compromise you know this reading is what it's, it's telling me is you guys are not trying to have a compromise for some of you so the best scenario for you to progress out of this stress or out of this let's say unexpected lost um is to clear things you know to throw away emotions feelings and disappointment that's weighing you down okay there would be for some of you um a misunderstanding that needs to be there's a key all right i'm really getting i'm getting i'm really getting a key to this um full moon reading can you get about the five of wands because this is the very essence of why you guys disconnected or the issue is some sort of competition misunderstanding or people trying to get into your way it, like people's trying to divide to put a barrier between the two of you it's not you guys it's the people right it's the people around you it's the situation around you it's ex-partner ex-relationship for some of you it's a travel that's the reason why you're not progressing it's about a misunderstanding that never like it's the same misunderstanding it's the same topic it's the same subject you have never moved on move out of this this needs to go all right whatever it is this needs to end yep you can win this over you can win this over for some of you whatever it is the same recurring subject issues scenario you can win this over all right clear your emotions clear your feelings in short if it's a call for you to break up or to separate go with it because it's gonna clear the air okay um there would be a public a victorious event between the two of you so what i what i advise you capricorn is that i don't think this would end all right your connection reconnection your person situation this is not the end all right this reading for today capricorn it's a call for you to to let's say have a cool off have a time off okay have a reset okay i'm just gonna write it down you need to reset 
okay? And then when you're ready, when your person is ready, when you connect again, when you and your person connects again, probably around mid or first, first week of October, I'm getting like, you know, a first week of October. If you guys connect again, keep it simple. Keep it between the two of you because that's where you're going to get the vic victory card, the six of wands, you know. If you let your communication stay between the two of you, don't let other people's opinion, you know, come into the picture, you would win, all right? Then keep it simple, keep it with you until it's ready and stable. You can, you know, you can tell the word, you can gripe you people who try to destroy us because we're back, you know? There is a victory, all right, Capricorn? There's a victory, but things need to reset. Things need to end in order for something new-ish to come along, all right? It's, it's, there's a victory, so stick with that. Stick with, keep it simple when you connect again, all right? Keep it between the two of you, whatever it is that you would get progress by around end of September up until the 1st of October, okay? So this is your reading, Capricorn. This is your new moon and week, and sorry, full moon and um, weekend bonus. I hope you like it. Um, I hope it resonates with you. I hope there's a learning for you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon again. Have a great week. Bye-bye.